let's try to graph a couple of simple um, parabolas. Here's the standard form of the equation for our parabola. Um, x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k. Um, and that's for a normal vertical parabola. If it's horizontal, you would switch the x minus h and the y minus k. Um, so the squared part would be with, with the y minus k and the, the non-squared part would be x minus h. Um, hk is the coordinates of the focus of the parabola and then p is the distance from the vertex to the focus um, and then pretty much from there you can figure out everything else you need um, there is a special line here um, which is really useful for graphing called the lattice rectum and its length is the absolute value of 4p and you can cut that in ha and, it, and it goes through the focus. So anyway, I'll show you how to use that to just graph some simple parabolas. So we'll start with one that's centered on the origin. So you can think of it as x minus 0, y minus 0. So it just turns out to be, um, you know, x squared equals uh, 4p times y. So uh, in this one, um, 4p is 8. So that means p is 2. Okay, so we know, okay, p is 2. Let's back up. So we know the the vertex is at the origin. So let's just mark that. The vertex is at the origin. Okay, p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. Um, 4p occupies this position in the equation. So this, this 8 is 4 times p. So p is 2. positive 2. So the distance, okay, oh, and then the other thing is uh, we need to determine is this opening upward or downward or left or right. Um, well, since this is the form of the equation for, for a vertical parabola, whether it's opening upward or downward, um, and it's we've got the x part is being squared and the y part not being squared, we know this is vertical, okay? So then we know the focus is um, two above the vertex, that's the focus of the parabola. Um, okay, so we know where the focus is, we know where the vertex is, that's a point on the parabola. Now we can use this idea of the lattice rectum to plot two points on the parabola and then we'll just connect them and do a rough curve there. So. Uh, well, why don't we draw the the directrix too? It's not part of the parabola, but you know it's a nice little visualization. So the directrix is the the vertex is the midpoint between the focus and the directrix. Um, so we can just draw that two units down from the vertex. So the directrix would look something like that. Let's make it a a dotted line to show that it's not really part of the graph, but it's a you know it's a useful visualization. So vertex, focus, directrix, um, and oh, we're gonna look at this um, this special line to give us a couple points on the parabola, this lattice rectum. So the um, the length is the absolute value of 4p. 4p is 8. So the length of that line is 8 and it goes through the focus. So that means I, I go 4 this way and 4 this way from the focus. So 1, 2, 3, 4. There's another point on the curve. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's another point. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I've got the vertex, focus, two points on the curve. I'm not, it's not going to be um, you know, perfect. If you need a perfect graph, use a, a digital graphing tool. Um, but if you're trying to just sketch the basic idea of what it looks like, uh, that would be that would be good enough. So here's the parabola um, formed by the equation x squared equals 8y. Pretty simple. Uh, let's do one that's a little bit more complex, a little bit more involved, a little bit more fun um, for the brain juices. And, uh, and that'll be uh, one with the where the vertex is not on the uh, origin. So let's delete.
Done with the first one. Oops. Okay, question one. Is this a vertical or horizontal parabola? It's vertical because it's in the normal, what we'd expect, where the x part of it is being squared and the y part of it is not. If those were reversed, we'd think horizontal, opening left or right. Um, okay, so let's. So this tells us where the vertex is. This so equation is x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k. h and k represent the coordinates of the vertex. So h and k. So my my vertex is at the point positive three, one, two, three, positive two, one, two. Uh, because the equation is x minus the x coordinate of the vertex, etc. So that's that's my vertex. Uh, now this part of it is four p, four times the distance from the vertex to the focus. Um, uh, so this is four p. So twelve is four p. So that means p p must be three. Four p equals twelve. So p is three. So my focus is positive three, one, two, three. Above my vertex. Um, now let's figure out the endpoints of the lattice rectum. So the length of it is the absolute value of four p. So four p here is is twelve. So that means um, I'm going to go six this way and six this way. And that'll be points on the parabola. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Off the charts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sometimes my eyes jump around when I'm trying to follow this grid. Um, we could draw the directrix. One, two, three. So our yeah, P is three. So the directrix is another three down. One, two, three. Go through there. Let's draw that line there to show that we know where that is. Right there. Uh, we've got the vertex focus, a couple of points on the curve. So we can just draw that rough sketch. You know, not perfect by any means. But again, if you want a perfect graph. Um, get a computer. Okay, so that's that's that parabola. Let's try one where it's op opens to the left or to the right. Um, so, actually, let me clear out some room. The standard form is pretty nice. looks looks a little weird, but it's, it's pretty nice. Um, okay, so uh, first question: What's the orientation of this parabola? Well, it's it's y minus something squared equals something times x minus something without the square. So the the x and y parts of it are reversed. So this is going to be a parabola that opens either to the left or to the right. Okay, so we know here. Let's just mark that um, for a reference point. Here's the orientation of our parabola: it's left or right. Um, P will will show us whether it's to the left or to the right. Let's plot our vertex. Um, so this is y minus k, and this is x minus h. So my x coordinate is th positive three, one, two, three, and my y coordinate is is positive one. Okay, so uh, the k always sticks with the y, the h always sticks with the x. So in other words, y minus the y coordinate of the vertex, x minus the x coordinate of the vertex, right? Okay, so there's where our vertex is. Um, negative eight is four um, p, so p must be negative two. Okay, so um, p is negative two units away from the vertex. We decided that this vertex opens to the left or to the right. Uh, well, a positive distance to the left or the right would be to the right. You know, if you if you're going in the positive direction. You're going that way. If you're going in the negative direction, you're going that way. So our focus is um, two units this way. From the vertex. So if this is the vertex and that's the focus, then our parabola will be opening to the left. 
All right, so um, if our focus is two units to the left of the vertex, our directrix is two units to the right, and because this is a parabola that opens to the left or to the right, it's going to be a vertical directrix, like so. Um, so we've got a directrix, we've got the vertex, now we can um, uh, use this idea of, of the lattice rectum that's a line that goes through the focus and also hits the um, parabola. So the length of that is the absolute value of 4p. So it'd be the, the length would be 8 units for this one. So we want to go 4 to either side um, from the focus. So, um, and in this case, since it's opening to the left, we're going to go 4 up and 4 down will be our point. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is another point on the parabola. 1, 2, 3, 4 is another point. Yeah, so now we can connect those. Um, those critical points there. You know, something, something roughly like that. So the standard equation is x minus the x coordinate of the vertex squared equals 4 times the distance from the vertex to the focus times w uh, y minus the y coordinate of the vertex. Um, if x minus h and y minus k are flip flopped, then it's a parabola that opens either to the left or to the right. Um, uh, normally it opens up or down. Um, the sign of of four p is going to tell us the the direction um, because we'll get we'll get p from that. So this is four p. So four times the distance from the vertex to the focus. Um, if it is a negative distance, then um, you would go downward that distance from the from the vertex to the focus. If it's a vertical parabola, or you'd go to the left that distance. If it's uh, a parabola that opens to the left or to the right. Um, if it, if it's a negative, if if p is negative, otherwise. So in other words, I feel like kind of overstating the case, but uh, in the horizontal, along the horizontal dimension, this is going in the positive direction. This is going in the negative direction. Positive, negative, positive, negative. So depending on whether the parabola opens uh, vertically or horizontally, and then depending on whether p is negative or positive, that information will give you the direction of the parabola. Um, and then just use this idea that the uh, of the of the lattice rectum. That's the special line that goes through the focus, and its endpoints are on the parabola to just easily plot two other points on the parabola, and then you can connect the vertex and those two points easily and just sketch out your parabola.